Hello, good evening. This is Zilhan again. We're gonna check the D2 stock, D2 CME holdings. So far, the previous uh, week and after markets today, date is February, oh, March, I mean the second march the second 2021 so uh dito stock price is 15.06 cents so it's bloody bloody go down so it's confirmed guys it's going down guys and the RSI is below the 50 confirm and the cross is still going down with the uh, MACD <coughs> so the psychological support will be the previous highs which is the or the previous support on the 14 1440 and the next uh, support would be this one the 13 level area so let's proceed and let's check the two scenarios which is the bear scenario and the bull scenario so let's start with the bear which the it's a bears or short bias as we speak so if we check the Fibonacci Fibonacci from the previous uh, lows to 19 yeah so we we have a support on this 14 yeah yeah 14.40 it didn't hit the zero point or the 61 percent area of the Fibonacci so I think the pattern is uh, forming already as you can see there's a pattern here if you want to know the pattern is it's a very bearish pattern when you see the the double bottom here and goes up and a big resistance on the 19 and goes down go back to 14 40 and it goes back up on the 0.236 17 area but make a resistance there so it goes back down below it yeah so there's a probably probability of sideways or a consolidation and finding support around the previous support the 1440 or it could be way beyond that uh, it could be a 13 level area or it could be a 12 or uh, the worst case scenario it would be go back and uh, 10 10 or 11 10.50 on the previous double bottom uh -huh. then the launching is around the corner of Dito on March 8th but it uh, doesn't affect because there's a lot of news going lately uh, the one is the uh, mobile service is the only but I don't think so it's a rumor I don't uh, I'm not into news I'm mostly on technical but when there's news I can't ignore 
yeah, I read news. <laughs> of course. So that's it for the pear bearish scenario. Okay, what if it's um, the next one, the long or the bull scenario of Tito? Okay, let's delete this Fibonacci. Let's make a new one from the previous high, then from the previous support. Or I must say, let's uh, let's try the fourteen or the thirteen. Make it a support. Let's try to predict the future. <laughs> uh -huh. I see. If buyers will or the bull will dominate the market in the following weeks. This is the bull scenario. Once it goes back in the 1440 and it breaks through down, yeah, it's going to be a bearish or short bias on the stock. But if if it support the previous support, so it would be a double bottom, or it could be. Uh, yeah, could be another consolidation or side wings unless it retests again for the third time and its support it would go triple bottom which is big uh, buyer signal big confirmation that there's buyer around 1440 if if it goes beyond and go beyond the 13 pesos level area this is the scenario could be or could not most probably um, yeah we the marketers are, are uncertain depends on the and we cannot control uh, especially the news uh, retail traders will be affected okay from this uh, bullish scenario if, if it goes down because there's a pattern of inverted H yeah it will go through in the following uh, several days and once it breaks true and make a bottom or a support here on the 13 uh, 12.5 13 area we will see another uh, long scenario let's try put yes this one if we put a risk ratio of and we'll go back to the 19 that's uh yeah that's a 50 percent if it's not uh consolidating or uh sideways but it's sideways i will not prefer to trade this stock trade the dito but for the long-term holders out there yeah yeah, but it depends. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just uh, sharing my technical analysis, my own analysis, and my this is for educational purposes, based on what I see using technical tools and charting and doing risk uh, reward ratio. If yeah, it's time to buy around that uh, thir level uh, 13 area because uh, the risk reward ratio would be then you need to a stop loss of 10 yeah or 11 which is 3.33 risk reward ratio with 50 percent yeah possibility but 
if it's still consolidating you have to be careful on the previous uh, resistance which is the new resistance and yesterday 17 yeah we could see uh, yeah possible trade with a risk ratio of 2.12 with a possibility of a 30 32% gain depends on uh, how the market goes and uh, there's a news don't trade if there's news just observe uh, I think that's it our time is up and let's uh, thank you for watching for those who end up uh, on the last minute of the video don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and please like if you want more videos like this and so subscribe to be notified and please comment down below battle reactions or anything uh, you want to uh, picture a uh, stock or anything you want to say related to uh, stock market or in the global markets like Tesla and everything so I think that's it thank you for watching for those who are still watching in the end peace out and thank you see you on the next video bye